Hello everyone, and welcome back to another video. Today we'll be taking a look at a graph theory problem, and this one is called Max Flow Min Cut. So, I'll quickly explain what the problem is. Essentially, if we have a graph or a network which has this sort of um, bit, this sort of shape, we want to find a way in which we can connect up all the nodes using the minimum total edge weight. And um, this is really useful in the real world. Um, I'll, I'll just quickly give a real world application of this. If we have multiple networks inside a computer, mul sorry, multiple computers inside a network, then and we want to find a way to connect all the computers, then we can imagine that A, B, C, and D are all computers, and these connections are essentially the like the latency involved um, in sending messages from A to B. And we we obviously want all the computers in a network to be connected to each other. And we also want this in, in the minimum possible way. So th that's just a quick real life application of max flow min cut. And now I'll come to the actual um, I'll come to the actual solution to this algorithm. So um, there are various ways in which we could try um, to solve this problem. Um, if, if we were to maybe use uh, like an, uh, not really a rigorous procedure, um, well, m maybe we could try connecting B to D, and then w we could try connecting A to D, and now. Now, now we see that um, or we could try maybe connecting D to E. So something like this would be a non-rigorous way to approach this problem. And if we were to do a non-rigorous approach, we would essentially need to check every single edge weight and see whether it's um, whether it should be inside inside the optimal solution or not. So um, th that's basically O two to the power of E, where E is the number of edges, which is really really inefficient. Um, it turns out that the actual optimal solution is much, much quicker. Okay, I'll, I'll just quickly go through the optimal. Essentially, um, here is the pseudocode for the optimal solution. We choose the minimum edge which connects um, which connects the existing network to a new node, and we basically just have to repeat step one. Okay, so well, what does this actually mean? So our first step was choose the minimum edge which connects um, the network to a new node. So in this case, the minimum edge is e to g, and that does indeed connect the network into a new node. I'll explain what it means by connecting the network into a new node a bit later, once once the situation arises. But essentially, um, well, in, in now that we've connected this, our scope should um, I, I, our scope should be restricted to these three, these four sorry, edges. And the reason why is because all four of these edges connect. Um, a new node in onto the existing network. So, um, and, and now we, we we choose the minimum possible edge out of these four edges, which is the one from E to D. So, the, this would be the, um, the, the this would be the um, the edge in this case. And now, and, and now we have a few more edges which we we can consider. B to D is one such edge. B to E, A to D, C to D, D to F and G to F. All six of these are viable um, next moves, however we would choose the minimum, which would be B to D. One thing which I'll mention is, um, inside the this pseudocode, I mentioned that um, it must connect onto a new node. So what does that actually mean? Um, essentially that means that it, before we connected B to D, we didn't need to consider D to G, right? Because there's no point in implementing that connection since if that connection were to be implemented, we would just be connecting two nodes which are already connected by E, right? And that's not really what um, that, that's not what we're after. So after we connect B to D, we we search for the next minimum um, edge. And our candidates are B to A, A to D, this one, this one, that one is not a candidate, this one is, etc. I'm, I'm sure you get the idea. So after this, we would connect B to A. And then we essentially just continue in a similar procedure. So now the smallest possible um, edge which gives us a new connection would be from A to C. So we implement that connection. And finally, um, the last possible edge which we we would consider is D to F. So that gives us a total cost of 16 plus 12 plus 17 plus 19 plus 18 plus 11 which in this case is our answer for the minimum total edge weight. If I to just quickly add these up, that gives us 
33 plus 60, which is 93. And this is our final, um, uh, this is our final answer for our um, total edge case. Okay, so um, th that's essentially how this algorithm works. And now let's solve a question which requires this. Essentially, um, we want to solve this question from Dr. Toiler. They give us um, the situation, and then they say that um, we, we essentially want to um, implement this algorithm onto a bunch of networks which they've given the adjacency matrix for, yeah? And we, we, want to, um, we want to find what the minimum possible way is, in, such that we can connect all of these nodes up. So um, for that, we would need to essentially, um, we need to open up this file, and then we would have to go through each of these, um, each of these adjacency matrices, and see what the minimum way is in, in which we can connect them. So it's pretty similar to the pseudocode which I described earlier. So let me just quickly show the program for this. Okay, um, this is basically our final answer, but. So th the first thing we should do isn't really related to graph theory, but it's just um, opening up the network um, .txt file. And what we essentially do is um, we, we read the file and we read all the um, adjacency matrix, matrix values. And oh, also, um, sorry, yeah, it's just one thing I don't think I mentioned this earlier, but this question is taken from Project Euler and it's question 107. Okay. So now, um, what we do after this is we essentially just build our matrix, and the, the way the file is organized, um, it's, it's, it's essentially organized such that it has each of the numeric values inside one row, and that continues um, 2,000 times or something, I believe, or, or maybe 40 times, so, sorry, I can't remember the exact number, but um, that's essentially how the file is organized, and we would append those values into, matri into the matrix array. This part of the code isn't too hard to understand, um, and I wouldn't really go through it, um, because that's not really what the focus is of this video. If you have any questions, though, feel free to ask in the comments. Okay, and now um, what we have later on is we essentially need to... We need to implement this, um, the algorithm which decides what the minimum possible connection is. And the way I've chosen to do that is we have this array, which is called connections list. It stores a list of all the possible connections which are currently available. And I've initialized um, it to being float infinity, which is basically um, infinity for each of the number of nodes. And what this means is the ith um, element inside the connections list array would give the minimum weight to the ith node, if that makes sense. So um, initially, everything started off with being an infinity because um, we don't know what the minimum distance is from any node because we haven't got any any nodes inside our path. But then um, eventually, as the algorithm goes on, what we do is we, we can update um, we can update this minimum value to being um, the minimum of whatever its current value is, and also weight, where weight is the um, weight is the new um, it, it's it's the new weight from exploring this node. And what this essentially does is this ensures that each um, connection which we have would be the smallest possible, which would, which is there. And one more thing is we have this nodes list array, and this essentially just keeps track of which nodes have been visited before and which nodes haven't. And the reason why this is important is because there's no point making a, making a connection to a node which is already inside the um, inside nodes list. And we essentially just need to repeat this and. As we repeat this, we increment our um, we increment our smallest weight um, this is smallest weight variable, and whatever the smallest weight is, that's remember that's essentially the smallest connection which we have, and then we would add that to our total cost, and then um, at the uh, I, I, at the end would essentially just print um, the initial number minus the total cost, and the initial number minus the total cost is the amount which we have saved by shedding off some edges. So that's essentially what the algorithm is for this particular question. I really hope you enjoyed watching this video. I think I hope you learned something, learned something new about um, graph theory and um, the way these algorithms work. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe. And I'll see you in another video next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.